Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I will tell you how to write a VHDL code for half adder. In VHDL, we will be having two blocks. One is an entity block, another one is an architecture block. What we are going to write in entity and what we are going to write in architecture, we need to understand first. Entity block consisting of input and output ports of the design what we are going to write. Architecture block will be having the logic how actually the design is going to work. Suppose here, since our example is a half adder, half adder is a device, it is going to add two single bits. Let me call it as A and B are the inputs, sum and carry out are the outputs. So in the code, I need to declare A and B as input ports and sum and carry are output ports. So in the entity, I am going to declaring those four are the ports of half adder as a comma b in std logic, sum comma carry out out std logic. So these four are my input and output ports. So std logic is the data type which I am assigning for a comma b. Similarly, out std logic is the data type I am assigning for sum and carry. So std logic in the sense a and B can take values of 0, 1, similarly U and X, like that. So, sum and carry can also be 0, 1 and other values of possible values are undefined and X. In place of std logic, you can write bit also. So, if we represent it as bit, A and B can take only 0 and 1. That is the difference between std logic and bit. You can write logic also. So coming to the architecture, in architecture part I said we are supposed to write the logic. So here sum and carry expressions we know for the half adder, we can directly write those two expressions. In place of the logic, uh, we are going to write the gate primitives. XOR is the keyword here I am using for XOR gate. If I do A XOR B, that will be my sum of half adder. If I do A and B, that is the output of half adder as carry out. So less than equals is the symbol here I am using to write the expression. Less than equals indicating the data is computed at the right side, it is assigned to the left side. Similarly, I need to follow for carry out also. So here we need to end the entity block with the entity name. So entity name is half adder. So I am going to end that entity block after the port declaration as end half adder. Similarly, Architecture name is data flow. I am ending that end data flow. Why I am writing here as architecture data flow of half adder means the ports what we are going to define for those ports we are writing the logic here. That's why architecture data flow is the name of the architecture of half adder means that is the entity name I am going to write. This is how we can write the code for half adder using VHDL. And if you have a question, what is library IEEE and use IEEE.std underscore logic underscore 1164.all, the answer is, in the port declaration, if you are using std underscore logic as a data type, which is for AB, and out std underscore logic for sum and carry out, to use the std logic, we need to call the library, library that is i3w dot std underscore logic underscore 1164. If you read that line, it is allowed to use std underscore logic while declaring the ports. So this is what the code for half adder using VHDL. Thank you.